Let's talk about these buttons down here, the green and red listen and mute buttons on each channel of the Rodecaster Pro 2. Personally, I'm always a fan of using physical buttons and switches when possible because I really do think that they make things easier, but mm, I'm not entirely sure if this counts as officially mix minus, but it is a solution that can help sometimes. Using the listen and mute buttons to create a sort of mix minus scenario can be really helpful, especially if you're not recording directly into the Rodecaster Pro 2. Like right now, I'm recording this audio directly into the Roadcaster Pro 2, but if I'm just running through this into another application, especially where somebody else is like calling or being a guest into that application, that's where this can come in really, really handy. And I've used it a lot on the original Roadcaster Pro as well. Something very important to remember though is that the green listen button will only affect the headphones out of channel one. So whoever has their headphones connected to headphone output one, that's the only person that's going to hear the effects of the listen button. And basically what that does is it just sort of solos the audio from those tracks. So what I recommend doing is pressing the green listen button on any channels that you do want to hear. So let's say for example, on USB chat, which is this one right here, let's say that I do have someone here and I want to listen to them. And then of course I want to hear myself because why would you not want to hear this wonderful voice. Because why would you not want to hear this wonderful voice? There we go. This also does disable any effects that might be enabled on the track. So you just hear the pure, clean input coming from whatever channel it happens to be. The next thing to do is to press mute on the channel that you don't want to send back out. So in this case, if I had somebody from like a FaceTime call or something coming in through this channel, I would mute this and it would sort of create a mix minus situation where I'll be able to hear them but they won't be able to hear themselves coming back out of the input, but they also won't be going to the actual recording on the Rodecaster Pro 2. So if they were on a separate application and I was using the Rodecaster on an application and we were recording through the computer into that application, that's when this scenario would work really well. If you're not worried about echoes or feedback, you could just record in multi-track and then it really doesn't matter what's coming into each channel because you can just disable or delete those channels afterwards when you import your audio. But it's important to remember mix minus whenever you're dealing with somebody else where they could be negatively affected by audio being sent back out from the Rodecaster. But this is also where the Rodecaster Pro 2 can do something really interesting that the other Rodecaster Pro can't do. And that is, if I press the mute and listen button on my channel, channel one, and the mute and listen button on another channel, now they turn yellow. And what this does is this now creates back channel communication. So this isn't totally related to mix minus, but it kind of is, and it's also a very cool feature. Basically what that means is now, all the people who are highlighted yellow, those are people who can talk to each other and hear each other without affecting other people or the final recording or the final output. So let's imagine that we have someone on channel four and they're talking about something, but I also have people on channels two or three. And while this person is talking, I need to talk to these people without disturbing them or messing up the output. I can just press both of these, we can talk to each other and we can hear each other, but it's not going to affect anything else or go into the final recording until I turn that off. And that's all predicated on channel one being the main channel. So if I press these two things on other channels, nothing happens, but as soon as I enable both of them on channel one, that's when it turns yellow and now we can have that back channel communication. So if you were feeling a bit mixed up about this, I hope I was able to minus some of the confusion to help you get the most out of the awesome Rodecaster Pro 2. And speaking of things that are awesome too, thank you to everyone who helps support my channel through Patreon and YouTube channel memberships. And be sure to check out my Rodecaster Pro 2 feature walkthrough and computer setup videos right here.